Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Lenore Von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with Jim Theobald, Beth Griffith, and Andrew Bolotowski. And this is uh, the third part of a little mini-series within The Facts on about this guy named Charlie. Uh, I, I, uh, it, it's called Charlie's Fantasy, and when I started it, I had an idea of what Charlie's Fantasy was, but now I'm not sure what it is. But, you know, as we tell the story and as I figure out more about who Charlie is, because uh, that's the process that I'm going back. So here, so Charlie is this guy. Uh, he's living, he's a man, he's living in present-day USA, and I, I'm looking at uh, some of Charlie's blind spots in relation to his experiences, his needs, and his kind of classical education. He comes from an upper-middle-class family, went to a fancy private school. Um, uh, Words are not enough. <laughs> so w but this is a rehearsal. At the same time, it, that it's a little piece of the story about Charlie. So I want to rehearse something that we're going to do in the next episode. This tune called "Blip Blip." It, it, it's got its subtitle is "Unavoidably Betrayed," and it's it's. I'm having a really hard time with it, uh, and uh, I wrote it, but <laughs> um, and uh, so we, we're going to try this tune, all right? And so Beth is going to the singer over here is going to give us the cue. Mm, to a stranger, how, a the, stranger, hell are how you? the hell are you? They swept us there for a natural statement. Give it, it's yes, and it's yes. Uh -huh. got to the end. Yeah. Yeah, there's something. We got, something. got to the end. We got the words in this tune are words uh, uh, that I heard just sitting around in this, uh, different places. I sit around editing. I, I get tired of just sitting in my house editing, so I go out and I edit in this, and I hear people talking, little pieces, and some I can make sense of and some I can't. But anyway, so I started writing them down, and I put them in this song. Okay. So, oh. Excuse me. So let's go back to a, l a little, tell a little more about this story about, about Charlie. Um, so this guy Charlie, I think his, his childhood um, was savage in what it, it, it was oblivious to, but 
But he's not stifled by a small vocabulary, as are many in his time, and he's exposed to a range of ideas, and he's trained in the tools to get more, like reading. He writes clearly. He questions. Um, uh, and, and like many people, Charlie picks his romantic partners that remind him of a parent, uh, but that are better for him than the parent, more compatible. Um, yeah. People often, people I think often don't know what they're, what they're uh, 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 escaping from their childhood. Uh, they just get sort of the outer leather layers. Like my mother, my mother wouldn't give me piano lessons because she was forced to take piano lessons. Even though I wanted to take piano lessons, she didn't get the part about being forced. <laughs> it's the problem, not the piano. Okay, let's try fixed child crying. Okay, so I'm. I'm walking down the street and I see this child is in anguish, is so upset. And the person that's caring for him, I think it was a babysitter, she really didn't know how to handle the situation. And it was so sad. And, and the only thing that happened was this stupid guy stops and he says, you're a bad, you're bad, you're being bad. This kid is beside himself with, with, with misery. And the misery was like what children, I think, go through all the time is especially young children is that they feel responsible for everything in the world around them they feel that they did oh it's my fault it's my fault it's my fault it's my fault my fault so what he's saying in this tune and i tried to make a song out of it is is you know he's it's his little cry of how he's he says i'm wrecking the world i'm wrecking the world okay could you mm -hmm. <laughs> King, 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 just went by yeah yeah um so i mean i guess what i what i'm thinking about with charlie or any of these characters i'm writing a series of characters now or characters i've written in the past is what was it like them what was it like for them to be a kid when their personalities are forming when you're figuring out how you could defend yourself from the world you know what you have to defend yourself against you know depending on who your caretakers are and uh, so, uh, so it, in order to understand these choices that you make later down the line, like I've been uncomfortable in my skin most of my life. I'm a little more comfortable in it now than, and, than I was. And my relationships in my 20s reflected this. And this is the time when most people get married and they pick mates and they have children. So before your childhood is over, you are passing it on to your children. Uh, <laughs>
try this, um, here's the one where I sing again, more criteria. More criteria, more, more criteria. What's your criteria? Uh, let's have more criteria, more parameters, more criteria. Let's figure this stuff out, whatever it is. Um, okay, and so we, we move from, um, in, in except for this rehearsal, we move from um, text to improvise music to compose music, and one of the people in the ensemble uh, is chosen to give the cue. Cues are chosen. They're chosen to give those cues so that the move can be sort of uh, seamless, uh, relatively seamless, or at least make sense. And um, so, well, I, you know, so we n now who gives the cue in this? Me. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Me. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the cue. <laughs> Greek to me. Uh, so, um, okay. Um, I don't want to try it again unless somebody else wants to try yeah, it. Do you want? It was quite charming. <laughs> charmant, <laughs> charmant. Okay. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out this guy, Charlie. A little more info on Charlie. Uh, Charlie uh, respects the power of big institutions and money. Uh, he comes from money, and he's no socialist, uh, but, uh, and this bodes well for his acceptance in society, his money-making possibilities, his material well-being. But how? Because one of Charlie's problems is he wants his intellectual freedom. He, 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 he doesn't want to uh, get a well-paying job because none of those professions suit him, and so, that's a problem that Charlie has. That's one of his problems. Um, <laughs> If happiness is realizing who you are, being who you are, you know, follow your dream and all this bulabanga. <laughs> But it's real. Thank <laughs> you. 
as as we as as we film this, there was just this week or la- no, it was four weeks ago actually. There were these three hundred girls in school in Nigeria that were uh, taken uh, kidnapped by people who don't want girls to go to school or you know l- lunatics, and 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 so this is what stuck in my mind because now they had a, they had to put out a video and they had a bunch of these girls and they were all covered head to toe with this crapola that they make them wear and. And uh, they uh, they said they they uh, uh, converted and uh, to this other religion that these the kidnappers have. And there's this picture in the uh, in this video of this one girl, this little 16 year old. They're all about 16, and the look of fear on her face as she stands to the front and talks. You know, talking about you know it has some. A segue. You know, I mean, it's stuck in my head, but also a segue. Following your dream, and you know, you dream. You know, I want to get an education, but what a price! Men in the, in the time of Charlie, you know that, which is now, right? They still have more power than women, and and this is helpful to Charlie in his search for a mate. But uh, it, it 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 also may limit his personal life, his, his communications, and the, and, his, and his first long-term girlfriend, uh, Charlie, and they had they almost they had problems that were almost never solved. So the bad feelings just piled up every more and more every day. I want this and you want that, and I want this and you want that, and I want this and you want that. I want this, you want that. I want this, you want that. You want that, I want this. You want this, I want that. So, oh, you want this, I want that. You want this, I want that. I, you want this, this, that. I want this, you want that. You, I want this, you want that. That you want this. I want this, you want that. You want. I want this, you want that. You. I wanted that. You wanted that. You wanted that. I wanted this. You wanted that. I want this. You want that. So why don't we try um, more building? <coughs> so the flute, the flute gives the gives the intro, gives the cue, and the trombone joins in. Yes. Yes. So yeah, the bar is done twice. Yeah. 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 Let's try that. Okay. (coughs) Here we go. What 
would happen if we did it faster? You did it faster. Oh, it would be faster. Could we just try? <laughs> could you yeah. just try it faster? Yeah. You know, mistakes. You know, uh, whatever. You you fall okay. out of line. Just you know, like jump in sometime later. Faster. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so how fast can you go? Can you go oh like gee, I would have been one, wanted. two, three, four? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, sure we can. Yeah. Okay. Sure, but you know, it's like that. That they run on TV now. You know, if you drive. 40 miles an hour, you have an 80% chance of killing someone, and if you drive at 30 miles an hour, they have a 70% chance of the person surviving, right? <laughs> okay. So, okay, that's, we'll do it like that. Okay, okay so call, we're gonna call go 80 time miles an hour. Call it <laughs> okay, we're going to do it. Call the time this fast, okay? 80 miles an hour. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> so you, right. you, okay, you're going like to call it. Okay, that's it. He is? Okay. Jim is up for it. I can, okay. I can tell. All right, right so you're, Jim? you're, you're queuing them. That's oh, absolutely. my gosh. Okay. I'd start it. There we go. Okay. Jim will finish it. Let's try something else fast. Oh, yeah. oh gee. Getting faster uh, next to new. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Did we do that already? No. Okay, wait, let's wait, try that. On. No, we didn't hold do that. Hold on, hold on, hold no. on. We didn't. I must find it. So, next to new. There it is. Hold on. Hold on. Yes, yes, so we did a few twice. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. Wait, I must do this. I have here a little slow, but uh, oh my goodness. well, that's going to be interesting. Okay, by all means. Yeah. Let's give it a whirl. Let's give it a <laughs> shot. <laughs> all right. Okay. It's your fault. You gave her the giggles. <laughs> okay, let's start okay. again. Thank <laughs> you. 
It made me think this, but here's another piece of the Charlie info. In, 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 in Charlie's house, his mother freezes spaghetti. <laughs> she makes spaghetti and she makes, you know, she makes these dinners, she puts them aside, and she makes this dinner and, and this spaghetti thing that she does regularly, and she, and she, um, and she puts it, and she puts it aside. She, she freezes them all. So from a lot of his childhood, he thinks that spaghetti is like this little frozen plate on, you know, on a l piece of aluminum foil, this little frozen thing. Um, <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm getting the I'm getting the thirty second sign. So we hope that you, you know, enjoyed yourself and, and come back for more. And uh, 